Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me here at the Aqua open source channel. My name is Anais Oerlix, I'm the open source developer advocate at Aqua Security. Now in this video I'm going to walk you through different ways that you can filter scan results in the Trivi CLI. So as part of your security scanning, you're sometimes bombarded with lots and lots of information, especially if you're using all of our four scanners in Trivi, the vulnerability scanner, misconfiguration scanner, secret scanner, and license scanner. All of these scanners are sometimes used at the same time. And that can lead to a lot, a lot of information on your different security issues in a specific resource that you're scanning. Now in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can filter scan results by severity of the issue, by unfixed um, issues that don't yet have a fix available and only see the ones that actually do have a fix available by ignoring certain files that you don't really care about and much more. So let's get started with this video. Okay, before you get started, you really have to make sure that you have Trivi actually installed. So you can head over to the documentation. We're here in the latest documentation. Make sure you're in the latest one. And then you can head over to installation and you will find lots and lots of different installation instructions right here. Next, we want to head over to our documentation section. And in the documentation section, you will first find the different targets that you can scan and the different types of scanners that we have in Trivi. Trivi has four different scanners, vulnerability scanner, misconfiguration, secret and license scanning. Now, the important part here is the configuration. That's the section that we're going to focus on, specifically the filtering. And then you will find a different section here called skipping. But right now, the skipping section is actually in the other section. Now, the filtering section shows you how you can filter the scan results, starting with vulnerability scanning. So when you perform a vulnerability scan, let's just copy this command. You say, for example, trivi image, and then you would specify, in this case, the container image that it should scan. And we're going to go ahead and we run this command, and trivi is going to perform the container image scan to display the vulnerabilities of that container image. Now, this is the output. As you can see, there's a lot um, here. <laughs> lots of different security issues, vulnerabilities in this container image. Now, something that is worth noting. Let me go back up. Oh, God. OK, this is a lot. OK, there's a lot of things. Here we go. Something that is worth noting that we have the installed version that has the security issue in that container image, and then we have a fixed version. And we also display the severity of that vulnerability. Now, these already give us indications on how we can filter our scan output. First of all, we can say we only care about the security issues, the vulnerabilities that already have a fix available, where they have a fixed version. So what we can do is we can say ignore unfixed, meaning ignore all the unfixed security issues, all the unfixed vulnerabilities. So we run the scan again, and then we are only getting all of the security issues that have already a fix available. Now that's still quite a lot, right? Going through all of them can be quite overwhelming. <laughs> what you want to do is first of all, maybe update the version, the container image that you're using, maybe even the base images that you're using, um, all of your dependencies. Now, what we can do instead, or in addition to that, <laughs> is specify the severity. So you can say, for example, only display the critical issues, the critical vulnerabilities of my container image. We perform the scan again. And as you can see, it's becoming a lot more manageable, right? There's still a lot going on, but it becomes a little bit more manageable than it was before. I lost track here. So this, these are two ways. First of all, the ignore unfixed and then by severity. Now, the severity flag is available for all of different scanners, our vulnerability scanner, also our misconfiguration scanner. If you, for example, scan your Terraform configuration file, your Docker file for misconfiguration issues, it's also available in our secret and license scanner. Just a few options. So basically, you can scan by severity, by critical or high in that case, for example, across all your different scan targets that are listed here on the left side. Another way to ignore security issues is by their ID. So when you run a scan, for example, when we run this 
conf misconfigurations scan, a trivial config scan with the file system command. And for example, we have here the different IDs. So for example, we have here AVD, AWS, this one, right? Let's say we want to ignore this one. For whatever reasons, we want to ignore this, right? We can specify a dot trivi ignore file. Just open it. So we have here the repository. And I have here a dot trivi ignore file. And then the dot trivi ignore file already has two IDs. Now I can specify my additional ID here. No, they all have to be uppercase. Here, AWS. And once they're in the dot trivi ignore file, this security issue will be ignored. So if I run the scan again now, oops, that's not what I want to do. If I run the scan again on the bad infrastructure's code, as we can see here, it's not going to be displayed again. This is a different issue. My puppy wants to play, so I'm going to take five to play with my puppy. <laughs> Now, as you can see, you can specify all kinds of different security issues across the secret scanner, misconfiguration and vulnerability scanner. And you basically just specify here the CVE ID, basically. You can also specify until when it should be ignored in the dot trivi ignore file. Now, it's automatically going to be passed into your trivi scan as if it's in the same directory as where you perform the trivi scan. Additionally, if you perform vulnerability scanning, you can also specify the vulnerability type that should be displayed. So for example, if you only want to have libraries displayed that have security issues, not open source uh, software packages, <laughs> operating system packages, then you could also specify that as part of your Trivi image scan. So you specify only operating system packages, not the libraries as well, and you can run the scan. Now we could do the same or similar with also other Trivi commands. For example, with the Trivi file system command, we can say we only want to do misconfiguration scanning. So now expose secret license scanning in here. And then we specify the, um, <laughs> the bad infrastructure as code um, repository. And we can see here that we have only our critical issues and also only the misconfigurations for the different configurations files in my bad infrastructure as code repository. Now, another way to ignore certain security issues is if you perform license scanning specifically, you can filter for specific licenses that you don't want to be displayed. So for instance, Trivi image scanner license, ignore license, and then I specify these two licenses, MIT and MPL2, and then I filter additionally by low severity and I can run the scan on the Grafana image, for example, and I can say I don't want any licenses that I have that basically are related to MIT, for example, to be displayed in the scan output. And as you can see, I have here these licenses identified in the container image with low severity. As always, all of the links, all of the resources that I have been using in this video and showing you throughout this tutorial are linked below in the description. So if you're curious about the exact commands, do check out the resources there. Now, regarding the misconfiguration scan, for example, if you perform vul an awesome vulnerability scan, but if you perform, for example, con misconfiguration scans on your Kubernetes resource, on your Helm charts, your YAML manifest, your Terraform, you can specify a regular policy and pass it in as the dash dash ignore policy flag. So you can pass that in into the image scan and then it will ignore everything that you specified in that rego file. Now that rego file must have a rule called ignore. So an example rego file would look something like that. If you have here the ignore and here you have the different ignore rules in that rego file. We have different examples on our repository. You can find different examples here. For example, here's a example policy that I've also copied and you can see here how the Rego file would be built to specify in more detail which kind of uh, vulnerabilities you actually want to ignore. And then again, you can pass it in into Trivi as, as a Rego file <laughs> into the ignore policy flag. 
you know, those issues are then going to be ignored by Twitty. It's basically a way to, to filter the scan output. So Trivi is not going to display or not going to scan even the different resources that you tell it in this regular file to actually ignore. So I can pass in the custom policy that I have defined into the dash dash ignore policy flag. So custom policy and then it's in the ignore directory and it's the basic rego in here. And once I perform the scan, it's only going to display what I've actually defined in the rego file. And this allows you as an organization to be very detailed with the things that you want to scan for versus and display in your misconfiguration scans and your vulnerability scans versus the things that you don't want to display. Now, if you're using Terraform, you can also filter the misconfiguration scan of your Terraform files by inline comments. So here's an example of how you, for example, filter the vulnerability ID AVD blah, blah, um, in your Terraform HCL file. So that would be how it's done as an example. So you can specify different AVDs, different, uh, similar to the dot trivia ignore file, you can specify the different IDs that you want to ignore in as part of your Terraform. Now let's head over to the skipping directories and skipping files. So skipping directories, skipping files allows you um, to basically say which files or which directories should not be scanned. And that can be done with the dash dash skip file option. And you can specify the specific files that should be skipped. It's part of all our different security scanners. You can also skip specific directories. Now you can specify either specific directories or you can also specify the globs, the, the globs, <laughs> funny word. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that should be, sorry, that should be skipped. So if an entire directory of all the files within should be skipped, you can specify this in the skip directories, uh, skip directories flag. As always, I really hope this was useful and you now know how Trivi can ignore certain results and files and much more. Now, if you would like to see similar tutorials or tutorials on specific content, then please do comment below the type of tutorials you would like to see, the type of topics you would like to have covered on this YouTube channel. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you like Trivi, do make sure to give us a star on GitHub. It would mean a lot to myself as well as to all of the contributors that make this tool possible and amazing. Also link the below in the description again is all of the resources that I've been using throughout this video, all of the different links to the documentation, as well as a link to our Slack channel, to our Slack community. If you have any questions, do post your questions there or start an issue or GitHub discussion. I really hope to see you in one of our upcoming videos, tutorials, live streams and events. Until next time, have an amazing day and week. Bye bye. <laughs>